standards of training, certification and watchkeeping, SDCW, are a set of international regulations established by the International Maritime Organization, IMO, to ensure that seafarers have the proper training, qualifications, and experience to safely operate ships. They are intended to improve the overall level of safety and professionalism in the maritime industry and to promote a level of standardization in the training and certification of seafarers. To comply with SDCW regulations, ship owners and operators must ensure that their crew members have the appropriate certificates and meet the required training standards. The Standards of Training, Certification and Watchkeeping SDCW, regulations are divided into several parts, which include Part A, General Provisions, this section lays out the overall framework and principles of the SDCW Convention, including the scope, definitions and application of the regulations. Part B, Training and Certification this section covers the specific training and certification requirements for different levels of seafarers, including the minimum training and qualifications that are required to hold different types of certificates. Part C, Watchkeeping. This section sets out the requirements for the hours of rest and watchkeeping for seafarers, including the minimum hours of rest and the maximum hours of work that are allowed. Part D, Manning, this section covers the manning requirements for ships, including the minimum number of crew members that must be on board and the qualifications required for those crew members. Part E, Certification and Verification of Compliance, this section covers the procedures for issuing, endorsing, and renewing certificates, as well as the inspections and audits that are used to verify compliance with the SDCW regulations. Part F, Special Training, this section covers the specific training requirements for certain types of ships or operations, such as ships carrying hazardous materials or ships operating in polar waters. These parts are critical for ensuring that all seafarers have the required knowledge and skills to perform their duties safely and competently. The Standards of Training Certification and Watchkeeping, SDCW, Convention was first adopted by the International Maritime Organization, IMO, in 1978, and it came into force in 1984. The most significant amendment to the SDCW Convention took place in 2010, which was known as the Manila Amendments. The amendment included significant changes to the Convention, such as raising the standards for training and certification, and introducing new requirements for security-related training. The SDCW Convention was again amended in 2016 by the adoption of the 2010 Manila Amendments, which came into force on January 1, 2017. The STCW is continuously reviewed and updated by the EMO to ensure its relevance and effectiveness in meeting the current maritime industry needs and to keep up with the technological advancements. Therefore, it is important for seafarers and ship owners to keep track of the latest developments and to ensure that they are in compliance with the current version of the SDCW Convention. According to the Standards of Training, Certification and Watchkeeping STCW, regulations, there are several courses that seafarers must attend in order to meet the training and certification requirements. Some of the most common courses include Basic Safety Training, this course covers the basic safety procedures and emergency response training that all seafarers must have. The course includes training in personal survival techniques, firefighting, and first aid. Advanced Firefighting, this course provides more advanced training in firefighting techniques and procedures, including the use of firefighting equipment and the management of firefighting operations.
Personal Survival Techniques This course covers the skills and knowledge that seafarers need to survive in the event of a ship sinking or abandonment, including the use of survival equipment, life rafts, and lifeboats. Basic Training for Oil and Chemical Tanker Cargo Operations This course covers the specific procedures and safety measures that are required for working on oil and chemical tankers, including the handling of hazardous materials and the use of specialized equipment. Basic Training for Liquefied Gas Tanker Cargo Operations This course covers the specific procedures and safety measures that are required for working on liquefied gas tankers, including the handling of hazardous materials and the use of specialized equipment. Medical First Aid This course covers the basic medical procedures that seafarers need to know in order to provide first aid in an emergency situation. Proficiency in Survival Craft and Rescue Boats This course covers the operation and maintenance of survival craft and rescue boats, as well as the procedures for launching and recovering them in an emergency situation. GMDSS General Operators Certificate This course covers the Global Maritime Distress and Safety System GMDSS and its operation. These courses are mandatory for seafarers to meet the SDCW requirements and to be able to hold an SDCW certification, which are required for working on ships.